Hello and welcome to day nine of our fifth grade math review. We are looking at geometric measurements tonight. Specifically, we're looking at volume and some area and perimeter. So when we're looking at volume, what we need to remember is that we're dealing with a three dimensional measurement. We're thinking of a box like this rectangular prism you see here. We're gonna, going to be filling it with cubic units, little tiny cubes. And we don't even know if the units are feet, inches, meters. They don't give those to us. They're just going to say that they're units. So our equation that we're going to use, our volume is going to be length times width times height. There's two ways to look at it. Uh, another way to look at it would be base times height. And it's going to be the same thing. What they do is they just kind of make the uppercase H into lowercase H. It doesn't really make a difference. But sometimes you'll see the length times the width. You'll see that kind of combined or collapsed into the base. So let's look at it both ways here. If we wanted to take a look at the first equation, length times width times height, we would simply go 10 times 8 times 6. So we would say 10 times 8 times 6. So if we wanted to, uh, we could, uh, let's collapse these right here. Let's say 10 times 8 times 6 is 48. So our volume is going to be 48 with a zero or 480. So our answer is actually going to be not here. This is one of those tricky ones. Your answer is going to be not here. But what if we use this other equation? Volume equals base times height. Well, the base is going to be this, the area of this very bottom right here. So if we look at the area of this bottom, that's going to be 8 times 10. So we can just say 8 times 10, that's going to be 80. And then we're going to multiply that by the height, which is going to be 6. So 80 times 6, well, 8 times 6 is going to be 48. So if we have 80 times 6, it's going to be 480. Either way, you're going to get the exact same answer. It's going to be units and then cubed. But the answer is not here. So that's where volume is different than area and perimeter. It's going to be three numbers you're multiplying. So next we have a simple perimeter problem and you notice there are uh, no answer choices. So this is going to be a free response answer. So let's just go ahead and draw a rectangle just to help us. So we've got nine and 35 hundredths meters as our width. We've got six and 82 hundredths meters as our height. So if we wanted to find the perimeter, which is just all the way around, one option would be to just plug in these numbers on the two missing signs and add up all four numbers. Just kind of have a larger uh, addition problem. So we can do that. There's also a formula we're going to use in just a minute. But when in doubt, you can just add all four sides. As long as you know what all four sides are, it just turns into a larger addition problem. So I'm just going to line them up here. Make sure your decimal comes down here. So then it's just going to be simple addition here. So we've got 5 and 5 is 10. Add 4, that's going to be 14. Carry this one right here. So 1 and 3 is going to be 4, that's 7. 7 and 8 is going to be 15, that's 23. Let's carry that 2. So 8 and 8 is 9 and 9 is 18. Add that 2 is 20. Add the 12, that's going to be 32. So our answer is going to be 32 and 34 hundredths meters. But we also have an equation we can use. Double the length plus double the width. And so if we wanted to do that, we could say perimeter equals, I guess this is going to serve as our length. So we can say 2 times 6.82 plus 2 times 9.35. So if we wanted to do that, we would take 6.82 and double it. And that's going to be 4, 16, and that is going to be 12. That's 13. I've got two digits behind the decimal and the factor, so two digits behind the decimal in our product. And let's take our 9.35 and let's double that as well. So that's going to be 10. That's 6. Add the 1 to 7. That's going to be 18. So 18.7. I've got two digits behind the decimal in a factor, so two digits behind the decimal in the product. And let's go ahead and add those, and we're going to get the exact same answer. So that's going to be 13. It's going to be 2. Add that as 32, 34. So either way you look at it, it's going to be 32 and 34 hundredths meters. 
So the third problem for this evening is going to be a little bit tricky because they're going to ask us for the area, but they're actually going to give us three different measurements. So unless you're really paying attention, this might look like a volume problem, but this is not a volume problem. This is an area problem and area is two dimensions. Remember area equals simply the length times the width. So we have to make sure we're pulling the correct information. So we have a dog crate. It's shaped like a rectangular prism. So that's what this is. But now we have, it says right here, it's the shaded floor. So it's this rectangle down here, which means we don't need the 30. All we need is the 36 and the 24. If we multiply those two, we're going to get our answer. But if we were to include this 30, we're going to get all kinds of different answers. So let's make sure we're just using the two uh, measurements that we're needing for the shaded area at the problem. And that's the trick with this one. So now we have just a simple two by two multiplication. Six times four is 24. We carry that two. Four times three is 12. Add the two back in, that's 14. Now we're going to make a zero for the second row. Two times six is 12. And that's two times three is six. Add that one is seven. So we're going to add those two products together and we are going to get 800 and 64 that's going to be inches squared or square inches so your answer is going to be a but if you were to do some uh, incorrect multiplication for example if you were to do 30 times 24 if you were to to maybe multiply these two well let's see what you would get here you would get 120 and you would get 60 so guess what you would get right there you would get your seven 20. So that's how this one comes across. And if you were to take your 864, which is your 36 times 24, and then if you were to multiply that uh, by 30, then you would get something way larger. Uh, that would be not even an option. That's going to get you something much larger if you were accidentally trying to calculate the volume. So you've got different options here. If you were to maybe do this 36 times uh, this 30, 36 times 30 is going to get you another incorrect answer. So the first row is going to be zeros. And we're just going to do 18. That's going to be 9, 10. So there's your 1080 right there. So you can get uh, both B and C if you did the wrong multiplication. So make sure you're always uh, reading carefully and they give you the shaded area right there. So that's it for tonight. Make sure to come back tomorrow night for another night of the fifth grade math review.